What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR and in today's episode we got a special vehicle today. We're going to be using a 2010 Dodge Charger. Uh, this one is uh, from Maurice97. It is not released yet. It is in a pack that he is still yet working on. Um, it's based loosely off of the Houston Police. Um, now, the skin is off of Sinisa's 2014 Dodge Charger. I edited it to fit this one because there was no skins for this Charger. Uh, so, no credit to me for the skin. That's all Sinisa for that. I just moved stuff around to make it uh, look good. Now, according to all the pictures I found, Houston does not use uh, this Charger in this paint scheme. Uh, the only one that I seen was a 2007 Dodge Charger that was white and a ghost livery. Uh, I didn't see... Uh, this particular skin on any of their um, uh, 2007 through 2010 chargers. Uh, so I made this one, uh, or I edited Sinista's skin to fit. It's a little different than the real one. Uh, I put this little reflective, well, not reflective, but the little ghost skin stripe on it and everything. So hopefully Sinista doesn't mind that. Um, it's all his. I just edited it to fit this one and uh, Maurice 97 put the car together. Um, that is the lighting on it, for those of you that wanted to see it. Uh, he is working on another more, or going to be working on another more accurate 2010 Dodge Charger, or 2007, that accurately matches the one that I found the pictures of at some point in time. So this is what we're going to be using. We're going to do highway enforcement. Now, some people say you can't do that in an unmarked car. It's not unmarked. It's fully marked. It says that right there. It's just not very conspicuous. It's kind of inconspicuous, even though it's fully marked. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to stick to the highways, some of the bigger avenues, and uh, see what we can get into, see what we can stop. I'm also uh, testing... Uh, some scripts for I, I think it's Gint, I, th I think you pronounce it Ginty uh, some of the law pack stuff making sure that it's all right with the US at least the US side I don't know nothing about Canada so they won't be testing that stuff but we're looking at the US side seeing what needs to be added what doesn't need to be added all that good stuff so hopefully it will be good so we're just gonna drive around and see what we can find See if anybody's breaking traffic violations or, you know, breaking the traffic laws or anything like that. Like this guy. It's foggy. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there's the first one. Shit. 637 radio. You show me out on a traffic stop. It's gonna be westbound US Route 20 over top of Buccaneer Way on the bridge. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut the lights off and go to stage two. And the reason I do that is because traffic will actually drive by that way. If you have all your lights on, they don't. Although it doesn't look like he's driving by all the way anyway. So we're just going to turn them all on. See what this guy's problem is. See why he uh, hit that car, cut over, and hit him. And you're not supposed to walk between the cars, but it's going to be the safest way here. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Doug with the Los Santos Police Department. Do you have your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance on you, man? Why are you being stopped? All right, Mr. Croft. All right, Mr. Croft. The reason you're being stopped today is because you changed lanes back there and you hit that car. You like brushed them, like you got damage on the front of your car there, man. So that's why I pulled you over, kind of for uh, reckless driving. Yeah, reckless driving. You don't know what I'm talking about? Okay. All right. Do you have any uh, anything in the vehicle I need to know about? No? Okay. No big deal. Have you been drinking this morning? You don't have to answer that. You're right. You don't. No big deal. Uh, is this uh, address on your license current, man? No? No, actually, you can't leave. Sit tight for me. I'll be right back with you. Actually, buddy, do you mind if I get your um, uh, ID too, please? 
J. Taylor. Alright, thanks guys. Just sit tight for me. I guess they're never just gonna go around. Uh, let's see if we see if that helps. We'll turn all that off, see if it helps. Ped database. Sammy Croft. Valid, not wanted, everything is good there. Uh, everything's good there. I'm gonna hit the scroll lock. Uh, I guess not. And the other guy was Jay Taylor. Ooh, he's got an active warrant for his arrest for incite via inciting a riot. So the passenger actually has a warrant for his arrest. So we're going to be arresting him for that. He doesn't know that yet, but uh, we are. Hey, buddy, why don't you do me a favor and hop on out for me, man? All right, do me a favor, man. I want you to uh, just sit tight for me for a minute, buddy. We'll explain everything in just a minute. Let's walk back here. All right. Get you in front of the dash cam, man. Uh, do you have anything on your person that might stick me, poke me, stab me, make me bleed, make me mad? Needles, hand grenades, rocket launchers. Any Why can I not drive? Them? There we go. Uh, do you have anything on you that might stick me, poke me, stab me, make me bleed, make me mad? Needles, hand grenades, rocket launchers, anything like that? No. All right. Is this pertaining to the warrant? Yeah, you have. Yeah. So you knew you had a warrant. Okay, no big deal. We're inciting a riot. Oh, it's a misunderstanding. No problem. A knife, methamphetamine, and a brick of C4. What? He don't have C4 on him, but he's got drug paraphernalia on him. Um, so, that's interesting. Alright, why don't you do me a favor, man? Go ahead and turn around. Put your hands behind your back for me. It says he's got a brick of methamphetamine, so we'll take it to the trunk and test it and all that stuff. And, uh... Alright, let's walk back here for me. Go ahead and have a seat in the car. Hold your horses, man. Go ahead and hop on in for me, buddy. Hopefully he don't steal my car. Alright, so I'm gonna go back here. Evidence management. Store evidence. So we're gonna put the uh that meth back here. Uh meth. J. Taylor. Yes. He stored one piece of evidence. Alright, now I want to see if I can. Roadside drug. There we go. That's what I want. Roadside drug test. So now we're going to test it just to make sure. tests on it. We're just going to test it to see if it truly is meth or whatnot. Uh, positive for methamphetamine. Alright, so it is definitely meth. We did do the test on it and it is meth. So he's going to be charged with the... He's going to go to jail for the warrant and we're going to charge him with uh, possession of meth amphetamine. Right. I'm going to close your door for you over here, man. You shouldn't walk in front of the car, but It'd make me fall off the bridge if I did the other way. Alright, here's what's going on, man. Your 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 passenger had a warrant for his arrest and he's got drugs on him. So why don't you do me a favor and go ahead and hop on out as well? Alright, let's walk back here for a minute. We're just gonna get you offside of the road so that traffic can go and we're not blocking anything, alright? Close your door, we'll get you over here. All right, man, do you have anything on you that might stick me, poke me, stab me, make me bleed, make me mad? Needles, hand grenades, rocket launchers, anything like that? You got any drugs on you? No no meth like your buddy? A police night stick and level 3 body armor. All right, well, level 3 body armor is not illegal, though it's kind of suspicious. All right, do me a favor and go ahead and turn around put your hands behind your back for me. Right now, you are not being placed under arrest. You're just being detained temporarily until we figure out what's going on. All right. And uh, I'm going to have you... I'm just going to have you take a seat on this side of the car. It will work. Uh, 
fuck up, man. Right, go ahead and hop on in there. This is why you gotta be careful. Ah! All right, I am back. Uh, I actually fell off the <laughs> the bridge, so uh, I am back. The car is uh, already been. We'll just say the car has already been towed. Um, I didn't get to search it, so I don't know if the driver uh, had anything on in the car or not. Um, so I don't know what to do about that. We, we, uh, watch out, guys. So we're gonna hop in here real quick. Uh, yeah, so I don't really know um, if the driver uh, if the driver had anything on him. However, the passenger did have methamphetamine on him, uh, so we put that in the storage. So we're trying to go into the computer and charge uh, J Scott or J Taylor. And it's gonna crash the game because I opened it up. Oh, it's dash cam. That's okay. All right, so we are going to create a rest report for him. Jay Taylor. The location is right here. Charges are going to be possession, uh, drugs, possession of a controlled substance. Well, we we tested it. We did the roadside test, so we know for a fact it's methamphetamine. And then he also had. A warrant for his arrest. Where is that at? Uh, for in, he had a warrant for inciting riot. I'm probably looking right at it. Can't even see it. Resisting arrest with violence. No. Kidnapping. Grand Theft Auto. No. 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 Uh, maybe it's nonviolent. Uh, warrant for arrest. There we go. All right. So Jay Taylor is going to be going to jail for the possession of methamphetamines. Uh, it didn't give me a. And if it did, I don't remember if it gave me how much he actually had. Uh, so I don't know if it's enough to charge him with intent to distribute or not. Uh, but, uh, uh, yep. Okay, so we got all that. So that's for him. And for the driver... Um, I, it's kind of hard to say what I want to do about the driver, in all honesty, because <laughs> he didn't really do anything that I know of, anyway. So I'm going to leave him blank. I'm going to have prisoner transport come get him, and then we're just going to continue on with the next one, because I don't... Because when I fell off the bridge, the car despawned. I need to put entity persisted in. So we're going to close that. 1637, can I get a prisoner transport unit to my location, please? All right, so we'll get a prisoner That's transport unit out here. I don't know why they are stuck right there. Um, they shouldn't be. We're just gonna block this lane. Hello. All right, so like I said, the one guy's gonna go to jail for his warrant and for possession of methamphetamines, and the driver, um, I guess he'll just go down with him because we towed the car. So I don't really know what else to do about the driver. Saying he didn't really have anything on him that I know of, and I couldn't search the car because. Of me falling off the bridge. <laughs> so, 1637, you can show me clear off that. I'll be code 410 available. And we'll just drive around and see if we can find someone else doing something really stupid, like usual. It's easy to do in this game to find people doing stupid stuff. That is. The speed limit on this bridge is uh, 45 miles an hour. Uh, with a minimum of 20. Which is dangerous, but it is what it is. Uh, I do a lot of patrolling on this bridge, however. So it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm used to... I'm used to the way people drive on it. 
uh, I like driving these slick top cars with the ghost skins because I mean it quite obviously it's a police car but if you're looking in your rearview mirror at the quick glance you probably don't notice it I don't know, maybe some people do I don't know let's see if I can I think I got rid of that particular model. Foggy out, just make sure everybody's this guy right here don't have his headlights on. At least it doesn't appear that he does. Sixteen thirty seven radio. Twenty eight San Andreas six six Paul Romeo King one one one. Target vehicle license plate six six Paul Robert King one 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 a traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Well, I'm not gonna. Nobody else has their headlights on. I was kind of thinking that everybody would have their headlights on, but they don't. So I'm not gonna mess with him. I'm not gonna single him out if nobody else does. Technically, in foggy conditions, uh, you're supposed to have your headlights on, but I can't stop everybody. So. My driving. This controller makes it extremely hard to drive. I think I say that like every episode. But look at this guy. Pacing at well, he was speeding. He was doing at least 55. 1637. And 28 San Andreas 88 Zulu Charlie Hotel 273. Target Looking vehicle down. license plate 88 Zebra Charles Henry 23 no 1099. What? Get all the way to the side, man. As I stick my arm right through the glass window. Sixteen days, everybody. You can show me out on a traffic stop with that vehicle. I'm going to be northbound Interstate Five at the two mile marker. It's going to be a brown colored cavalcade, occupied times one. All right. Let's see what this guy's issue is. I don't have a lot of room on that side, so hopefully nobody runs me over. Hey, how you doing, buddy? I'm Doug with the Los Santos Police Department. The reason I'm stopping you today is for your speed, okay? Uh, speed limit is 45 through this area, and you were well over 50, okay? Do you have your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance on you, man? Uh, all right, Mr. Smith. Again, like I said, I pulled you over for speeding. So I just wanted to let you know that and uh, see why you're driving that fast, okay? If I... Yeah, you were traveling above the speed limit, man. Sorry, my fault. I wasn't looking. Sorry. No big deal, man. I appreciate you apologizing for it. Taking the accountability. Just, uh... Is this address on your license current, man? I actually just moved out. I've been so busy. Okay, no big deal, man. You actually get, like, 90... I think it's 90 days in the state of San Andreas to get your license address switched over. So, no big deal. Uh, and this is your vehicle, correct? Okay, no problem. Just sit tight for me, and I'll be right back with you, all right? I don't have a reason to ask him any criminal questions. He didn't do anything wrong, other than speeding. It doesn't make him a criminal. So. Let's uh, pop this open, see what we can get on Mr. Max Smith. Valid, none, and none. Check the vehicle. And everything is good on the vehicle. So, uh, he is going to get a citation for speeding. Uh, there's zero tolerance today for speeding. That is an SUV. Speeding, is, I'm going to do under 15. Uh, everything else is fine, however, so. Alright, Mr. Smith, here's all your information back. You are going to be receiving a citation today for speeding. Okay, I did it for 15 under. All right, I got you for 50 and a uh, 45. Uh, I believe I do believe you were going a little faster than that, but I'll cut you a break and just do uh, 50 and a 45. Okay. I didn't single you out. You actually blew past me. Yeah. You, 
Well, that's the thing with these stealth cars. They're, you don't obviously you don't automatically know them until it's too late. So, here's your citation. Just need for you to sign down at the bottom. It's not a mission to guilt. Just a promise to appear or take care of it on or before the court date mentioned above. If you have any questions on the back of the citation, there's a number you can call between 9 and 5, okay? All right, all right. Be safe pulling out, and uh, you have a good rest of your day, okay? All right. He's not going to have a good rest of his day. But he shouldn't have been speeding. All right, 1637 radio. You can show me clear off that. I'll be good for 10 8 available. All right. Continue on. Let's see if we can find anybody else doing something stupid. I was doing 45 when he passed me. He had to have been doing at least 50, which is all I got him for. I can't prove that he was going faster than that, so. I'm going to turn around right here. Turn around right here and just waiting for a nice break in traffic to do so. This car. I'm pacing him right now at 75. Alright, paced I paced him at I, I was pacing him at 75, so he's next on the list to get stopped. 63. You get 28 San Andreas, 87 Echo Frank. Oh target vehicle license plate, 87 Edward. Frank, Adam, three, 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 no. This is the one that I want right now. Look at this guy. Show me out on a traffic stop. Going to be westbound Interstate 5 to Greenwich Parkway. Stand by. That's probably good enough. Uh, it's going to be on a black and colored baller. 28. It's going to be San Andreas 22 India Sierra Uniform 621. He actually hit my patrol car. Weaving Target in and out. vehicle license plate. Two, two, Ida, Sam, Union, six, two, one, no, ten, ninety-nine. All right, let's see what, I don't know what this guy's issue is. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm Doug with the Los Santos Police Department. The reason I'm stopping today is for sideswiping my vehicle, weaving in and out of traffic, and all that other stuff, and all that other distracted criminal behavior driving. You got your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance on you? Why are you so nervous and sweating, man? Oh, Darville. All right, man. You had anything to drink this morning? No? You sure? All right. Have you done any drugs? What are drugs? Okay. Do you have anything illegal in the vehicle, man? No? All right. Do you mind if I search the vehicle? All right, since you don't mind me searching, why don't you do me a favor and go ahead and hop on out for me? All right, we're going to walk you back here to um, the front of my car. Just have you stand right here, okay? All right, for my safety and yours, do you have anything on your person that might stick me, poke me, stab me, make me bleed, make me mad? All right. Do me a favor and go ahead and turn and put your hands behind your back for me. Right now, you're being placed in cuffs. You're not being placed under arrest. You're just being detained. All right. Uh, since you are in cuffs, I am going to go ahead and read you your rights just in case, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, won't be appointed to represent you at no cost to yourself. If at any time during questioning you wish to exercise these rights and stop answering questions, you have the right to do that, okay? You understand them? 
Alright, awesome. Why don't you go ahead and do me a favor and have a seat for me right there. Can I help you? What's going on? No, you can go. Stop playing the middle of the road. That's a good way to get a ticket. Alright, man. Go ahead and stand up for me. I'm going to have you take a seat in the back of my car real quick. Uh, while I search your vehicle. Stand right there. All right, go ahead and back yourself in there. Watch Ed getting in. All right. 1637 radio. Can I get an additional unit out here, please? Assistance required in Puerto Del Sol. We're going to search this. Uh, I did manage to finally get rid of the key that does both of the that searches with the D-pad. I finally got rid of that. Nothing of interest right there. I swear to God, if he just landed oh. on top of my car. Oh my yeah, exactly. Exactly what I was thinking. A wireless camera and assless chaps. Yeah, Outstanding. Assless chaps. That is interesting. Uh, I'll just see if you want to keep an eye on that dude in the car for me. MacBook Pro and a Wii system. Alright, let's search under the hood to search everywhere. See if he's got anything in here he's not supposed to have. That is a beautiful parking job there, buddy. I, I love the way you did that. There we go. A fuse and a car battery. A fuse and a car. Yeah. <laughs> what a smart ass response to put in there. You found a fuse and a car battery. Well, no shit. It's under the hood. Of course there's a fuse and a car battery. All right, so he doesn't have anything in the car. Uh, I am going to have him get out do a uh, series of field sobriety tests. Alright, go ahead and hop on out for me. What's the rush? Alright, man, let's walk back here for a minute. No, why is this not working? No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to do that. I want to... Oh, damn! Alright, let's walk back here for a minute. All right, here's what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to take these cuffs off of you for a minute, okay? Then we're going to do a series of field sobriety tests on you. All right, man. Yeah. Nope. Where are you going? No. Nope. Get back over here, dude. No, you're you're not going anywhere. You're good. Go. No, come on. Let's walk back here, dude. We're doing these tests on you. You're going to walk back here. Let's go. All right, man. All right, so what I want to do is I want to do some field sobriety tests on you because I feel like you might be under the influence of something. Okay, so the first one that I want to do is a walk and turn test. Okay, what a walk and turn test is is where I walk out, you walk 10, 10 heel to toe steps forward, and I want you to turn around and walk 10 heel to toe steps back. Okay, so it's going to look uh, a little something like this. That right? shook me up. You're going to walk just like this on this yellow line the best you can, and you're going to stop, and you're going to turn around and walk back walk back to me okay so go ahead and do that for me what's going on and this truck disappeared that irritates me oh there we go yep he's definitely under the influence i kind of figured he was the way he was driving all over the road all right that was the first test all right, the second test that I want to do is a horizontal gaze, okay? The horizontal gaze is where I'm going to hold the tip of my pen up, all right? And I want you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes and your eyes only. Do not move your head, okay? All right, let's do this. Do not move your head, your yeah. eyes and your eyes only. No, don't move your head. Just follow the tip of the pen. All right. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is a portable breathalyzer test, okay? Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you breathe into this till you hear the beat. All right. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Good. And nothing on the breathalyzer. All right. Let's walk back up here to the trunk of my car, and then we're gonna dig out a drug swab and swab you for drugs, and then go from there. All right. Just sit right there for me. 
Does that work well? Oh, oh, Covering that fire! Okay, yep, that worked great. Alright, man, last thing we're gonna do is. Last thing we're gonna do is a drug swab, okay? So I want you to open your cheek so I can swab the inside of it. There we go. It's positive for cocaine and marijuana. All right. All right, man. Let's go ahead and turn around and put your hands behind your back for me. Right now, you are being placed under arrest for DUI and felony hit and run and assault on a peace officer, okay? Police officer? Because you, you don't even remember sideswiping my car, do you? Yeah, you sideswiped my car. That's, that's assault on a police officer. Along with felony hit and run. Because you hit me and then you took off. And DUI, because you're under the influence of narcotics. Alright. Alright, I'll tell you what. Go ahead and have a seat right here for me. Hey, you need to keep an eye on him for a minute. I'm going to fill out his arrest report real quick. Uh, I can't put him in my car, because when you do the interaction, when you do both the drug things on the interaction menu, or the sobriety test, that's when they steal your car. For some reason. All right, this guy, Bo Darville, valid, valid. His vehicle is nothing in there. So I guess it already disappeared. All right, so he's going to get an arrest report. Location is right here. Charges are going to be traffic. We're going to get um, leaving the scene of an accident. Reckless driving, driving under the influence. So, two felonies and a misdemeanor. And he wasn't in so uh, violent crime. Assault on a police officer via. He didn't resist arrest. Battery. Let's see. Assault. Assault on a public official. We'll do that. Assault on a public official. Uh, actually, let's do the battery on a peace officer instead. That's more accurate to what he actually did. So, a battery, there's a difference between battery and assault. So, we'll do battery on a peace officer. He didn't have any weapons on him, so he's good there. He is under the influence. Let's see, detailed report. Suspect side swiped. I patrol car at a high rate of speed. Upon stopping the vehicle, I mean, upon stopping Mr. Darville. I ran so variety tests and determined he was under the determined he was under the influence of a controlled substance. None was found on his person or in the vehicle. All right, so we got right there. Suspect sideswiped my patrol car at a high rate of speed. Upon stopping Mr. Darville, I ran sobriety tests and determined he was under the influence of a controlled substance. None was found on his person or in the vehicle. Uh, the car has been towed to the impound lot, so they'll do a further check on it to make sure that there was nothing in there that I didn't see. So... So, uh, 
there's no additional party, so there we go. Save and close. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna have this officer transporting. At least I hope he does. Six of eight seven eight. I need a piece of garbage. Right, so he's gonna transport him down to the station. Copy, that's the code two on our way. Roger. Appreciate it, buddy. See, if I put him in my car after doing both the sobriety tests, he'll get out and steal my car. No, I'll have to shoot him. No, I'm not do that. Wow. Alright, so they're going to take care of that. Uh, I am going to end the episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys have to let me know what you think about uh, me doing a little more detailed stuff on the reports and stuff. See you around. And uh, appreciate it. Not that he can hear me. Oh, he can because his door is missing. Uh, so you guys let me know what you think about the detailed reports and stuff and doing more traffic citations and reports and all that good stuff. Let me guy, let you, you guys let me know what you think about this car. Um, I think Maurice97 did an amazing job on it, and I love it. Um, this skin for it, however, is not available unless Sinissa makes it. I put this together myself, like I stated at the beginning of the video. This is uh, not my skin. I just edited one of his to go on it. Uh, so, I hope Sinissa doesn't mind. <laughs> so, anyways, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, leave your suggestion down below in the comments for the siren that you want me to use uh, when we finally do decide to switch sirens. We've got a few suggestions already. Uh, one for... Now, I will say, you guys that say rumbler siren, you need to be more specific because there's like five different sirens out there that have a rumbler. So I need to know which one you want to see here or see. And uh, the only other legitimate suggestion that I've got right now is to touch Master Delta. So you guys let me know what you want to hear for a siren down below. Give me your comments and suggestions and feedback on everything. And uh, you guys are the best. And I will see you in the next episode. Till then, take care, guys.